Hey guys, I'm going to be going over a video um, really on something exciting that Reloom has released today, uh, June 3rd, as the time of me recording this video, uh, something that's going to be able to tie in really well with the client first system and really their attributes. So if you're not familiar with Reloom, it's an awesome product that helps you get started and start developing your sites even faster um, and using the client first system that FinSuite has created. So for better organization, I use it myself. I love it. And I've been around this channel i've made a lot of reason videos but i'm actually going to be testing out uh, their filtering um, solution here that they've that they've done to make it a little faster for developing these these dynamic filters and so i'm going to be going through that showing you how that's going to work and look i'm going to test it on a live project as well because i was just about to start developing the filters for this project um, so we'll go ahead and jump right into that so we're on reloom site here and I'm going to use, these are the new components. Um, they've released some other awesome stuff here. And uh, maybe we can get to those a little bit later after the, uh, at the end of the video. But as of right now, I'm going to focus on uh, these new components right here. So I'm looking at filter five. Now, from what I understand, these already have the attributes part connected to them. And all we got to do is put in our script. And so I'm going to come here and I'm actually going to just uh, paste this in the page. Okay. And we, so we see we have our collection here, uh, the container large. What I really want in this is mainly to get my filter section here. Okay, so I pasted this in here. And so these do have all of our filters here um, that we could we can use. This one will work well for the project I'm working on. And so to give you a little bit of um, overview, what we're doing is we're making a site for, a, uh, for an independent owner. She, she rents out condos and um, she wants to move out of Airbnb and start doing it herself. And she has um, about nine properties. So we're going to have some filters that we want to get through here. Okay. So these are just the categories. Now these themselves aren't the filters. Now you can see there are no attributes on these over here in the right. But when we get into here, uh, this already has our attributes and this, these drop downs also have our attributes. So we click on these and you see um, this is the identifier here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our, uh, our filters here and we're going to go CMS filter. Okay. So we do need this script We're going to grab this script and we are going to go ahead and go to our page settings here, throw in the script in the head, save that. Okay. And so now we have a, uh, a lot of stuff here. So we do need to get, have our list. All right. Now this is going to be the list I'd imagine. Place this filter is empty. Okay. Okay. So grab my filters component. Let's move that up here and let's get rid of this here. So put that inside of the feed here. Place that div. Okay. All right. So now we have, we have what we need here. So as of right now, I'm going to leave this one blank because uh, this is going to be used for something else, what I want to do here. Um, but here I'm actually going to filter by uh, rooms or so. Actually, let's do guests. So here I do want to change the option amounts. So we'll do uh, one, two, we'll do three. I'll just do put guess. So here we're going to also do, you know, do pet friendly. I will do beach access. 
and uh, I'll leave these, these ones in here for now. And I might not need option four or filter four, but um, I'll leave that here for now. Okay, so I have these sections in the middle. I don't believe I will need these categories though. <clears throat> so here, do manual, I can move that over to this side here. There we go. Okay, so we have our filters set up here. Now this needs to be called at our list. So our list, if we go back to our attributes. So we have the field here and we need to have our list. So some element. And then list. Okay, so we do have the form block and this should already have filters if we go inspect it. The block here does have filters inside of it. That is correct. So now we have our identifiers, okay? So this is going to be our identifier. So remember, we wanna see how many people this sleeps. So this one sleeps up to five, for example, and here we are gonna do our attribute now. And so this, Needs to be, we'll copy that, the identifier, CMS field, and say sleep. Save that. So now we're going to show this and we're going to change these identifiers to sleep. Okay, so might be a weird pause in the video. There was a very weird bug that happened with um, Webflow's publishing, so I couldn't test and I thought I did something wrong. So turns out there was just a weird bug with the publishing. Okay, so we, to recap, um, we are just working on the drop down for the, how many people we sleep. So for now we have sleeping five, right? On this, this particular property. So we wanna have in here right now the CMS. And so that attribute is set, it's set to sleep. And then we have our options here. You know, how many are staying with you? Two, three, four, five. So now obviously in the previous and none of these scripts are gonna work. But now that we have those set, we can see that, you know, this is not going to work here. And so, so far, this form is working as it should. And you'll notice that there is a tag right here, too, that you can actually clear the filter. So right now, you can see that you are filtering five, and you can clear those out as needed. <clears throat> so now we will see we have pets allowed. So we'll go ahead and do show, pet friendly. And so we'll do amenities and then do save. And then we're gonna do, if I remember correctly here, we're gonna do the field. This is gonna be the identifier. And then amenities right here, so save. Okay, and we can see if Oh, can't preview here. I got to publish. If I did this correctly, and we can also test. So this is something new that's in uh, FinSuite's, what they did with their attributes recently, is you can actually have an attribute support. We can check that here because this might not work out because the naming is not the same here. So hopefully the publishing is working now. So let's double check. Pet friendly. Okay, so there might be a thing that says pets allowed. And so we'll check pets allowed here. So let's rename that. I think it needs to be, so let's actually rename it. Oop. Okay. Allowed. Let's do that. So let's republish this and let's see if that is going to work this time around. Oh, publishing is not working. So let's try this again. Yeah, we can see that never changed. My publishing is not working. I can unpublish this and then publish correctly again and see if that works. This is correctly set up. Ah, here we go. All right. So back to our test here. Webflow is having some major issues while I'm filming this video. This is really unfortunate. Just a small outage for the 
hosting the like publishing the websites. Um, so now this does say pets allowed and this is pets allowed. So now we can filter and you'll see it's pets allowed and this is beach access and that doesn't work. And so now we have our filters working for what uh, we're doing. And if you also add this query, the question mark, uh, attribute support true, we can also get some support to see if attributes are working. And so I ran a test and it looks like everything is working well inside of our site here. So, so far it looks like this is also another great time saver when it comes to developing your sites and trying to get some more advanced uh, interactions and just creating a better user experience for what you're building, um, either for a client or for a product yourself, whatever you're, whatever you're trying to do. But okay, there was a quick little overview of what they added. This is that was probably my favorite feature here. There's definitely more. Maybe I can do a video going over them um, here in a little bit. Um, but this was the one that had immediate use to me, and I can already throw inside of a project. And I imagine would have some great use for y'all too to speed up some of the things that you're doing if you're already using client first and their attributes. Um, so have have fun building, and hopefully enjoy this video.